name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his soldier, so shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things. During Advent, we wait for the one promised in Scripture. And he will be called Everlasting Father. We wait for the one who knows our deepest thoughts and fulfills our every need. And he will be called Everlasting Father. We wait for the one who will love us unconditionally as a parent loves a child. And he will be called Everlasting Father. We wait for the one whose grace and mercy will never end. And he will be called Everlasting Father. Today we light four candles. The first candle reminds us of our hope in knowing Jesus as our wonderful counselor. The second candle, our joy in proclaiming Christ as Almighty God. The third candle reminds us that Jesus came to bring peace into the world. We light the fourth candle to celebrate the fact that God loves us in spite of our flaws, just as a parent loves a child. In an unsettled world surrounded by confusion, we affirm that our everlasting Father is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Brothers and sisters, although God abides in us and his love is perfected in us, we sin every day and need the assurance of his forgiveness. And let us go to God seeking his power to amend our sinful lives. Lord Jesus, the love of God made manifest among us. We have not loved you with our whole heart, nor have we loved our neighbors as ourselves. Without your help, we cannot change. Forgive us. Renew us and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for you and for his sake, forgives you all your sins. And as a call ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. you. And let us pray. O oh God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we, that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, we may with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated as we sing our next hymn, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. <laughs> reading. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee 
named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, to the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have had found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative is Elizabeth, in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. We sing our next hymn, Away in a Manger. reading is from Luke chapter 2. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
vision, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. We continue with our next hymn, Angels We Have Heard on High. said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them.
Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. And they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasure, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. We continue with our next song, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Thank you. I have to move your home, but any place 
else you have. It's all I can do. Is come. We uh, we showed this video to our, our confirmands this year, and, and as we were watching this part, especially uh, the part that you just saw, uh, it, it really struck me. The, the, the part where, where Joseph and Mary are coming into Bethlehem, and we really don't know if this is how it really happened, if, if they come in that, that evening and the, the night she was going to give birth, and, and Joseph is running around trying to find a place because there's no room for him. We, we don't know what it is, but, but it, it really fits how, how this season can get. The, the craziness. It can go so crazy that you're trying to put four services together and you leave a, verse, or, uh, a, a couple passages out and a song. So, so I apologize for that one. But it is a crazy season. And that is exactly how Joseph is going around trying to find a place for Mary to give birth to Jesus. And then finally, they, they come to someone who has a stable. And I imagine that, that it's kind of just like how they have entered it. Here are animals all surrounding them. And this is where the Son of God will make his entrance into the world. 
But as we, we saw this, this video, it, it really struck me the compassion that Joseph had for, for Mary. He is frantically trying to find a place for them to be, to, to give birth to, to Jesus. Then also the, the look on his face, uh, that love that he has for her as she is giving birth. And when he holds Jesus for the very first time, the emotion of him. This season we have really talked about slowing down. Spending time with God, really pondering and thinking about what is really happening here with the birth of our Savior. To think about the angel came and told Mary and Joseph that they were going to have the Son of God. And when they finally get to Bethlehem and there's no place for them and they give birth and the shepherds come, the wise men come, what that really means, what it would be like to be there. After this sermon, you're going to hear a song that, that Macy's going to sing. It's called Hush. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. It talks about how heaven has come down to us. glory of God has come down to earth. And it says, hush. Hear sound God. Heaven's come down to us. What an amazing thing for us to celebrate. Not just today, but every day. That God came down from heaven. Perfect place to come to a broken world. To go through sorrow and hurt and anger and anguish and all the things that we go through in a broken world. He endured that for us. light of the world has come down to us. That was really cool how the movie portrayed that. How heaven broke open. A huge light shines down on earth. Light has come into darkness. Can you imagine Mary and Joseph, that evening, taking it all in. Before the shepherds come, they are holding baby Jesus. Son of God is in their arms. Those of you parents, remember when you first held your child, for the first time, that, that emotion that you go through, looking down on this beautiful miracle that God has given you. Seems like yesterday when I got to hold Megan for the very first time, and, and then Sarah and, and Lena. What a privilege that it's been as a pastor to go and, and sometimes be the first person to hold a, a child other than family. To witness this miracle that God has given to us. But for Mary and Joseph, to actually be holding the Son of God. John says, Hush, hear the holy sound. Don't rush. Holy ground. I invite you the rest of this evening and, and tomorrow to don't rush through things. Joy, time with family, joy celebrating the birth of our Savior. He is here. He broke into this broken world to redeem us. Give us life.
Tonight, one of my favorite parts of, of all worship services, which is when the lights go out and, and we sing Silent Night. And I want you to, to look into your candle and then to, to look around and, and to hear the, the words that we are singing. To imagine that the light of the world has come for us. Broken into this world filled with sinners to redeem us. And that same light will bring us home one day where we will hear the angels sing we will be surrounded by all the saints we will see our savior and our father face to face what a glorious day that will be so hush don't rush hear the words, hear the message that we proclaim and be like the shepherds that they left Mary and Joseph and go and tell the world what we celebrate. Be like the children. They proclaimed the message last week. Excited, celebrate, rejoice, but also enjoy that quiet time with him. That quiet time that Mary and Joseph got to experience so long ago as they look and gaze on the Son of God and what he will do for all people, for you and I. And we rejoice. God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. So we now continue with hearing that song, Hush. So I invite you just to close your eyes, hear those words that will be sung.
invite you to stand if you are able and let us join in our Christmas tree. Do we confess? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, who sent his Son as my Savior on the Christmas. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, announced by the angels, worshipped by the shepherds, and adored by the wise men, who lived to suffer, die, and rise again to free me from sin, death, and the power of the devil. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, who has brought me to faith in the Christ of Christmas, and by whose work in my heart I am led to lay before the treasure of my love and live under him as I redeem for now and forevermore. Amen. We join in the prayers of the church. God entered human history in the person of Jesus who experienced all our joys and sorrows. He has promised that our Heavenly Father will hear whatever we ask in his name. Let us bring our request to him in confident faith. Wonderful Counselor, we pray that you will give empathy, wisdom, and compassion to all who seek to meet the needs of the people around them, providing food, clothing, and shelter, tending to the sick and injured, and responding to human crisis and natural disasters. Remember, we pray with those with special needs and those known only to you. If you give us opportunity, grant that we may be part of your answers to their petitions. Mighty God, whose word created all things in heaven and on earth, when storms rage, fires spread, or the earth trembles, give courage and skill to those who would provide rescue, relief, and shelter. Bless those who till the soil and raise crops and all who manage and distribute the world's bounty. Let the hungry be fed, the poor clothed, and the displaced given shelter. Gracious God, receive, receive our faith. Hear the prayers to you we bring, Father, Spirit, newborn King. Everlasting Father, shower your grace on all families, enabling parents and children to grow in faith and love, in neighborhoods, communities, and cities where there is discord. Open doors of peace, where there is discrimination, provide justice. Where there is loneliness, provide companionship. Bless individuals and organizations to use the talents and resources you provide to restore dignity, health, and peace to everyone in their care. Gracious God, receive our plea. Hear the prayers to you we bring, Father, Spirit, newborn King. Prince of Peace, use the earthly powers that be to put into positions of authority those who will work for justice in their nation and corporations and cooperation across their borders. Give protection and courage to police and first responders in their communities and to armed forces deployed. Where wars threaten, move leaders to seek calm. Where long-term animosity gives rise to fear and hatred, open avenues of communication and understanding. Grant that your church stands as a beacon in this troubled world to proclaim the gospel and exhibit loving forgiveness in your name. Grant that many find the peace they seek in you, our gracious Savior. Gracious God, receive our plea. Hear the prayers to you we pray, Father, Spirit, newborn King. Into your hands, Heavenly Father, we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy for the sake of him whose birth we celebrate this day, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. During this time, we would offer up our offerings. Our offering plates are located at the exits. Uh, so when you came in, if you didn't uh, place them in or would like to, uh, you may do so as you leave. So I just invite you to join together as we pray the prayer our Lord has taught us to pray in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Oh